My family uh, relocated from Mississippi when I was approximately seven to nine months of age. Uh, it was just my, my mother and uh, my father and myself. Uh, my parents married, married very young. My mother was 13. My mother was 16, and it was shortly after that that uh, they migrated to uh, Eatonville. And um, that uh, was, uh, that idea of relocating to Eatonville generated from my mother's side of the family, believe it or not, rather than my father's side. Because my, my father's side of the family was a bit unstable but my mother's side was very stable with uh, several sisters and brothers. And uh, my father kind of um, attached himself to my mother's family when they were very young, and that's how that relationship began. My father, um, of course, if, if I were to describe my father in terms of uh, the climate of today, I would have to describe him as an, entre as an entrepreneur. Uh, because he was always moving from one thing to the other and being uh, very, uh, very involved uh, in terms of making a living, as he would say, for his family. At one time, uh, I, I can remember him, of course, working in uh, the um, citrus, not as a picker, but more or less as a, um, uh, an overseer mm -hmm. in the groves. And then at one time, uh, Times he would um, uh, had his where he would go out into the wooded areas and choose certain uh, plants and bring back to the community, particularly the white community, and sell the plants. Uh, so he was kind of like uh, a, a, a broker in that sense. Um, he had many. Uh, his hobby was uh, carpentry, and so he would always have a special room built or a little shed of something with some carpentry, carpentry going on. But his primary job as he uh, settled in, uh, he was the overseer of a, uh, of a large citrus, for a large citrus family. And then after doing that for several years, he was uh, promoted to the broker for, the, for their citrus crops, which was highly unusual for an African-American male. Uh, he would travel to uh, different states, particularly Alabama, when the fruit would be brokered. And um, he believed a lot in travel. My mother was a homebody housewife who loved to read and was on a, rather quiet, but my father was very adventurous. And believe it or not, um, when my father moved around the country and the United, the United States, he would take me out of school and take me with him. Uh, he felt that the greatest education that I could get was exposure to different parts of the, of the country. And uh, I, I'm, I'm here to say living proof that uh, that philosophy has stood well with me. To this day, I continuously vote, uh, devote a lot of time to, to helping the, um, to doing what I can to ensure that the residents, old and young, um, l appreciate what we have here in Eatonville. You know, I, I call it a cultural gem, but, but many of us don't, don't realize what, it, what Eatonville really means to the rest of the world uh, and what it could be um, if we uh, devoted more time to give it the kind of attention and respect that, that it needs. And uh, that, that, there are a lot of reasons that um, that doesn't happen, uh, the respect part, because we haven't been, t many of our people have not been taught to uh, appreciate what we have. I can remember when I first began talking with people about uh, bringing their family reunions and doing tours in Eatonville, and, and they would say, what, why come, why bring them to Eatonville? There's nothing nothing to see here, and, and I would just be burning on the inside, you know, but that, that, that was some of the responses I would get. So it, it, it uh, proved to me that there was a lot of education needed about what this town really means, and um, uh, it, during the past administration, uh, I, um, 
called the mayor one day just out of the blue, not the current mayor, the past mayor, and said to him that I really wanted to be involved in, with the Historic Preservation Board because we had just gotten on the National Registry and, and I saw a lot of potential. And with that distinction, I felt that that was, you know, something we could, uh, that could carry us a long way. And um, so from then, from that point on, uh, I, I've been involved with the Historic Preservation Board and I must say that the town has um, done a lot for me in in, in uh, assisting me in moving around the country to look at what other historic communities are doing and, uh, and bringing information back. And, uh, and I've never uh, been at a point where they've not been receptive to what, mm -hmm. to what uh, I have received and what I have been, been able to offer. And I, I do plan to continue in that vein.